is there any other forms of uh, uh, vitamin D rich uh, foods? Oh well, mushrooms. Mushrooms. They've been exposed to light, have a lot. But um, interesting. The um, during the forties and fifties, the uh, the main form of supplemental vitamin D was synthetic. Right. By uh, ultraviolet irradiation of fungus, and uh, the um, research that uh, changed the the um, popularity of that uh, claimed that um, it was responsible for the hardening of the arteries of young people uh, starting in the 40s and 50s. And, and this hard, sorry to interrupt, but this hardening was because of calcium dep- deposition, aberrant calcium? Uh, uh, yeah, which normally happens in a, a vitamin D deficiency, but uh, mm-hmm. uh, there were publications arguing that the use of the synthetic uh, vitamin D uh, might have been contributing to abnormal calcium metabolism. I, I don't know if that's true, but uh, that uh, came out around 1970, and uh, milk uh, additives uh, switched over to uh, vitamin D3 right after those articles came out, so I think they were just being cautious. So you said uh, you said earlier that mushrooms exposed to light are a significant source of vitamin D. Did you know? Have you any any uh, figures in terms of per ounce or uh, of mushrooms consumed? What you, what you'd get? Um, no, I don't. No. It depends on the, the type of mushroom and the intensity of the ultraviolet. Interesting, because we always think about mushrooms just growing in the dark or in the woods or something. So um, they they would irradiate with UVB than mushrooms at uh, some point in our in our uh, history. Um, yeah, and uh, if they gather them uh, outside, just being exposed to daylight so, uh, for a few hours uh, is enough. Uh, uh, there have been studies using mushroom powder uh, as a vitamin D supplement. And, uh, wow. It only took, a, a, I think it was less than an ounce of powdered mushroom to uh, make a distinct rise. Uh, it actually depressed the uh, vitamin D3 and increased the vitamin B- D2. Wow, that's interesting. I've never heard of that. So, so this would be things like the uh, common um, uh, field mushroom, the white kind of, uh, um, uh, the white um, agaric mushroom that's kind of common uh, culinary mushroom that would be growing in the fields, button mushrooms. So these, these would be sources? Um, yeah, uh, if, if they've been expo- exposed at all to sunlight, yeah. uh, they probably account for why many people have a measurable amount of, of D2 in their serum. Interesting. Now, the other thing is, I just want to re, uh, uh, go back a little bit. You've been an advocate of mushrooms uh, specifically for something else, haven't you, for um, producing a, a, a soup of mushrooms and having this as a, uh, a, a dietary supplement. Um, yeah, for the uh, anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer functions, yeah, yeah. mainly. 